Hey, my friends, Jay Todd coming to you from Las Vegas, and here's what's happening this week in gambling. This Week in Gambling has been made possible by the online portion of World Casino Directory. Trusted online casinos, hundreds of free games, and one of the largest game databases available. All at online.worldcasinodirectory.com. Hello, everyone, and welcome to This Week in Gambling's Countdown to Las Vegas show. I'm your host, Jay Todd. You, uh, you like my shirt? Yeah, I uh, found it in a dumpster just laying there, so I crawled on in, and my wife was like, Get out of the dumpster, it's garbage, and I'm like, Hey, this could be a collector's item. Sell it on eBay, put my babies through college. As many of you watch this, my happy butt is parked at 30,000 feet somewhere over Oregon en route to the Las Vegas Strip. I'm going to give you details on my exact locations, times, and days so you can come crash the video if you like. But first, this week's big story. PokerStars has announced its intentions to repay Full Tilt's players. But before you get all excited, listen up. This does not include players living in the United States. If you live in France, Denmark, Spain, or Belgium, you're going to need to log into your Full Tilt Poker account and merge it with your PokerStars account. Everyone else in the rest of the world can just simply log in to Full Tilt as usual and withdraw funds, except for players in the US and Italy. Of course, no one can log into Full Tilt Poker quite yet. The site's not ready. It won't be open for business again until early November, but hey, at least we've got a date now. Arrangements are still being made to get Italian players their payments. But if you're an American player, oh boy, guess who's got your money? Uncle Sam. Yep, the U.S. government is currently holding about $550 million dollars which is supposedly going to be used to pay back the Full Tilt players living in this country. Of course, being the government, they're in no real hurry to process these, you know, payments back to the players. I wonder how much money they're making every day off the interest by holding $550 million. All right, before the break, just a quick reminder that I am going to be on the Strip next week in Las Vegas filming this show, and I would like to extend an invitation once again to anyone out there who is just visiting or perhaps even lives in Vegas and wants to come down and crash the show. And I promise this time, I will keep my pants on. I will be on Fremont Street Sunday, September 30th from 6 to 9 p.m. Then on Monday, I'll be on the Strip near the MGM Grand between 2 and 5 p.m. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, October 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, you can find me bouncing back and forth between Bally's, Flamingo, and Harrah's in the late afternoon to early evening hours. And I really hope to see some of you out there. Filming with you guys really makes the show a lot more fun. Okay, when we come back, news from the Stratosphere, online poker, and uh, Monday Night Football? You heard me. Like us, then join the conversation on our Facebook page. Interact with show hosts and other viewers. Leave suggestions and topics for future programs. Visit facebook.com slash thisweekingambling. Jack Lang's Jerky presents Snacking with Sasquatch. Feed 
your wild side. There was some big news this week from some big game manufacturing companies, Ballytech and WMS Gaming. WMS, which produces and manufactures slot machines, announced it has been granted an interactive gaming license in the state of Nevada. Also, casino supplier Ballytech announced they had just inked a deal with the Stratosphere to supply their online gambling platform. <clears throat> All right, anybody else see the Monday night football game? Packers at Seahawks. Yeah. If you missed it, let me tell you, it was a really good game. Right up till the very end, when the refs blew one of the most controversial calls I've seen in a long time. Now listen, I live up near Seattle, and I like the Hawks, I do. But I don't want to see them win that way. And on top of that, this blown call by these scab referees affected more than just the outcome of a sporting event. When the refs blew that call, they cost sports bettors a lot of money. And in the interest of fair play, some Vegas sports books are doing something about it. The D Las Vegas issued refunds on straight and money line bets to its players who lost money on this game when they bet in their gaming establishment. Yeah. Talk about a real stand up thing to do, even if the NFL can't get its crap together. Hmm. Maybe I'll visit the D while I'm down there in Vegas, put a few bucks on my Texans this weekend. I'm going to go pack for the trip. I hope to see some of you down there, and if not, we'll see you on the next installment of This Week in Gambling. Don't know if I should burn this shirt or, or put it someplace safe. Now that's a stinger.